PRI, Prep Recruiting Insider, continues from NOLA Motorsports Park in Avondale as we feature the Jesuit Blue Jays. And we're now joined by a pair of Blue Jays student athletes. On the right, Mark Beebe, a defensive back. And on the left, Kalaja Lipscomb, a wide receiver for Jesuit. Two seniors who have been integral in their success the past couple of seasons. Guys, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Glad I'm going to start with you. Just decided to go to Vanderbilt. Uh, first of all, talk about why is Vanderbilt a good fit, and what other schools did you consider? Um, I mean, it was a long process, but I mean, we had um, Arkansas had offered from Arkansas early. Um, that kind of fell off, I guess, due to um, a lack of communication between myself and the program. Then, um, I mean, Vanderbilt came into the equation, and then um, I was in contact with a coach from Nebraska, uh, but. I mean, I made my decision um, based upon my official visit to uh, Vanderbilt. I mean, they have a, a great campus, a great coaching staff. I got to hang out with some of the players. And um, I mean, in all, it's just, um, I mean, it seems like they're trying to build something special over there. And um, it just seems like they said they were missing a few, missing pieces to the puzzle. And um, I mean, I'd love to be one of those pieces. And I'd love, and my, I'm looking at it as um, me being able to bring uh, a direct impact on the football program over there. So. Was playing the SEC a factor? I mean, of course you want to play on the biggest stage, but I mean, I, I don't think playing in the SEC was the biggest factor. I mean, I would like to play in the Big Ten, it doesn't really matter. They all play good football, Power Five football, but I mean, the SEC is definitely the biggest stage you want to play against. The, to beat the best, you got to be the best. I mean, to be the best, you got to beat the best anyway. So um, you want to play against the best competition you have. And a lot of guys, I mean, that I played against in high school are going to go on and play in the SEC, so it'll be cool to play against those guys again. Mark, you looking at some Ivy League schools. Uh, how is the process going for you, and what schools are you kind of keeping an eye on? Uh, right now, I'm getting interest from Yale, Columbia, Dartmouth, and some smaller schools like Fordham, Holy Cross, um, John Hopkins, Washington and Lee. Um, basically, you know, I'm looking for a place with great academics, and then a place that I can continue to play and do what I love and compete at like a high level. So I guess that's the main thing I'm looking for in a school. For both of you, uh, the challenges that await in college from an academic side sound like they're going to be pretty extreme. But for you, Kalaja, talk about playing at major college football and being able to balance those two and how uh, having to do so at Jesuit has really helped you out. I mean, like you said, um, coming from Jesuit where you have to balance both of those aspects and um, Jesuit does a good job of preparing you for the academic side of college life. And I mean, Coach Sanji has done a great job over the last two years of it, instilling us with the abilities to deal with the athletic football side of it. So I mean, whether Mark goes to play football or basketball or baseball, you know, he's the man when it comes to sports. But um, uh, I think Jesuit has done a good job of doing that and just going to a, a, another program that has a, a nice academic side like Vanderbilt or Fordham or one of those uh, prestigious um, schools like Harvard or Yale, just um, Jesuit. I think Jesuit has done a good job of doing that for us. And Kalaja just mentioned it, Mark. You juggle a lot of balls in the air, literally football, basketball, baseball. So you're used to trying to manage your time and squeeze in as much as you can, both academically and athletically. Right, yes, sir. Uh, I think Jesuit's definitely prepared in playing three sports. You have to learn time management and how to deal with that. Um, and then constantly going from one sport to another. You don't really have time off. And then managing your academics. Um, that, I mean, you know, Jesuit's known for its academics, too. So that's a big part of you know school at Jesuit, and then just managing that. You, Mark, you're a 4.2 guy, GPA, which is unbelievable to me. But anyway, uh, that is great. Uh, how important is, is academics to you, and what are you thinking about majoring in? Oh, it's a huge part. Um, I take it very seriously. Um, I'm thinking about maybe sports medicine. Um, I really want to become a doctor, and then obviously I want to stay close to sports because it's been a major part of my life. So I think that would be a good fit for me. And Kalaja, academics is important to you too. Why is, why is academics so important? And what are you thinking about majoring in Vanderbilt? I mean, um, I'm not sure of my major. Um, I'm undecided at this point. But um, I mean, academics is important, should be the most important thing. You know, you're a student athlete, and student comes first. So, I mean, um, without academics, you can't play football. If you're not qualified to play on the team, you get put off, you can't do what you want to do. So, it's just necessary work that has to be done. And then further, you have to. Um, I mean, you're preparing for, I mean, even if you go to play the NFL, the NFL says for not for long. So, I mean, you have to have a plan to back yourself up and what you're going to do, uh, like, farther down the road after, even if you are blessed enough to play in the league. 
Now, we can't have two senior student athletes in high school on the show without asking, as it's January, it's almost over for you guys. A big portion of your life, the high school years, uh, starting with Kalaja, just talk about uh, the feelings that you're starting to get, realizing this is the last moments that you have, these experiences that you've gone through. This will be the last this, this will be the last right. that, and how that feels. I mean, um, it's definitely gone by fast. Uh, it's, it's been a whirlwind, you know, in eighth grade, my this guy in eighth grade, it was we were on the eighth grade football team. We thought we had all the time in the world, you know. Um, the last year, it went by fast, and then the state championship this year, I mean, the season didn't go how we wanted it to, but it still went by pretty fast, you know. 14 games went by in a, you know, in a, uh, in a snap. So, I mean, it's the last, what, four months of school, you know, we're just trying to end it out solid. You know, take care of all the, the business side of things, all the grades and whatnot. And then since I made my decision, it takes a lot of pressure off of me. So, I mean, Mark still has things to deal with, but um, as far as basketball, that, all that goes. But, I mean, we have, um, you know, like you said, the time going by, and it's, um, it's almost time to say farewell. And it's, I've definitely, I'm definitely appreciative of my time at Jesuit and everything that being going to a school like this has instilled me with, all the values and whatnot. But I mean, I, I think I'm ready to move on to the next level and try to make something happen. And Mark, is the clock ticking too fast even though you're still so busy? I'd definitely say so. It's crazy to think that, you know, we're halfway through or over halfway through the school year, um, finished football and almost finished basketball right now. We have the second half of district to play. But you know, just like last night looking at the bird cage when we were saying like the national anthem, and I was thinking this is my second to last game in the bird cage. That's just crazy to think about. I mean like Kalaja said, we were eighth graders coming in and we thought we had so much time. We were looking at the seniors like, man, I wish I, I couldn't wait to be them. And now you're looking at it like, I wish I was in eighth grade again. I wish I was back there and have more time you know, be at the special place that Jesuit is. PRI is a no game face zone. We smile, so give one last <laughs> smile to the cameras. Two seniors that'll be moving on from Jesuit after fantastic careers. Guys, thanks so much for joining Thank us and congratulations. PRI continues in a moment with a couple of more Jesuit student athletes will look at juniors this time around as they have plenty of football days left ahead of them. This is from NOLA Motorsports Park in Avondale.